Hello gorgeous people, I am about to start getting ready and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to vlog this and do a get ready with me because the girls are on their way. I feel like I've got about 40 minutes on my own so I might just do my makeup with you. So I'm going out tonight with my friends and I'm very excited. I am very tired, I need a lot of makeup right now. But I've been up since 5am, I do the weekend breakfast show so the eye bags are very real right now but we'll get those covered up. My hair's not done. I haven't got a clue what I'm wearing, but I have just put a bottle of Prosecco in the fridge, so I feel like my priorities are in the right place. I'm starting my base with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I am so late to the party on this. I wear a shade 4.5. It's amazing. Also, like I said earlier, I got up at 5 a.m. and I just looked so pale. I don't like to do a full body tan unless I'm perfectly exfoliated and there's nothing left on my body. So I'm having one of those in between weeks. So I just went in and sprayed. This is my favorite stuff ever. Like look how much I've used. This is the Hydro Glow Tanning Mist from Be Perfect. I'm a Be Perfect ambassador, so you'll get 20% off if you use the code Melissa20. But I actually just spritz that onto a brush like this. And then I pop it all around my face. I feel like I have more control that way and you don't put on too much that way. And that is the best way to apply it if you ask me. So I popped that on this morning and I do have a really nice color on my face and my neck now. So that is good. The rest of me is pale, but you know, foundation is NARS and Natural Radiant Longwear. I wear the shade Stromboli and I'm running low on this. So I literally have to open the pump up like this to put some on, but this is just my favorite foundation. I might actually mix in a tiny pump of the Rimmel Lasting Finish because we're going out and I want slightly more of a fill coverage and I wouldn't say the NARS is fill coverage but this is so we'll mix them together and we'll just get a mix. For concealer I am a Rimmel Lasting Radiance girl. I find this so brightening and I love it so we'll just pop it mostly on the inner and then lift on the outer. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of the Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer. This is just not bright enough for me. So that's why I like to mix the two. Also, I'm so sorry if you can hear the traffic outside. The window's a tiny bit open because it's so warm. It's so warm, can you believe I'm saying that? Like, we're having really nice weather this weekend, but I can hear the traffic, so I feel like you might be able to hear the traffic. So I do apologize if that's annoying. I feel like I should have a drink. I shouldn't just be sitting here without a drink. I'm getting a drink. Okay, right, this is exactly what I need. It's an espresso martini. I've got my glass. It says to shake really well. I hope this is nice. We all love espresso martinis, don't we? It says shake well and pour half and then put the lid back on and shake again. So, cute. That's strong. 13%, I feel like that's a lot. We're gonna set that concealer with Laura Mercier. This is just the best powder if you are heading out for the night. I like to really try and keep my powder focused quite high up recently because I am using a lot more cream products and I don't want the powder to kind of mix with the cream. So I really try and focus it and I really pack it on for a night out. Now we're bronzing with the Be Perfect Shape Sticks. I'm obsessed with these. I was chatting about these on my stories the other day. These are the Jaclyn Jossa collection. She came out with two shades, but Be Perfect have now brought out the same formula in something like eight different shades. Can't wait to try the new shades because there really is gonna be the perfect shade for everybody. And these are just the most blendable things I've ever used in my whole entire life. So we absolutely love these. So today, today, I don't even set that bronzer, but because we are going out, I'm going in with NARS Laguna, and I'm just gonna set it so that it lasts all night, hopefully. And when I say I'm going out, I'm going to a bar. It's table service, I think. Going out isn't really a thing yet, yet. Apparently, in August, nightclubs might reopen, masks might be a thing of the past, so it is, it's very exciting. For blusher, I'm going in with this. It is NARS Torrid. You need the tiniest little bit. Like a little goes a long way. And I like to work this into a beauty sponge on my hand. 
and then work it onto my cheeks. Oh, look at that color. I love it. It also blends really nice with your finger. Take it over the nose as well to look like I've caught the sun. Wow, she's a clown. That's fine. Blusher is the first thing to fade on me anyway. And if you ever feel it's like, you know, true in your face, just take your foundation brush and pat it over the top. I almost pat it in too much. I want it to be brighter. Again, day to day, I don't set that blusher because we're going out and I just want to use this. I am using this blusher from Be Perfect. It is called Scorched. It's like a pinky coral, really shimmery. We love this. For highlighter, we're using the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight, I think. And I just kind of pop this on and I blend it as quick as I can really because I actually find this to be quite fast drying. And if it dries in, it can not be that well blended. So I mostly use my finger to kind of first smudge it all out. And then I'll go over with the beauty blender. So I'm going to go in with this Rimmel highlight. These are new and they're actually so good. It's called Stardust. Wow. Just very lightly go over all those little bits that I highlighted. Okay, brow time. I am using Refai by Jess Hunt. This is worth every inch of the hype that you have heard about it. It's so good. I don't have good or full brows, but this really helps me create the illusion that I do. So I like to kind of go through with the what would you call this? The serum? The paste? It's definitely got a name and it's neither of those. I actually like to take like the, the pencil and press it down into the skin. Like I'm not using a spoolie, I'm just using the edge of the pencil. And I feel like this really makes them look full. And you can use your finger as well. Just to really press it down. I really find this way your brows won't move. Like they won't move all night which is what I want because I don't have brows that like flick up either. But I find when I flick them up, they look filler and that is what I want. So we're just going in and filling in any sparse areas. I actually really want to get my brows laminated. I have never had it done before, but if it gives this effect, this is exactly what I want. Okay, the girls are here, so I need to hurry up. I bought the whole Refai set. So for the sparse bits, I take my own brush. I don't love the brush on this, it's a bit thick, but I take my own brush and a little bit of this pomade and I just go through and do like individual brow strokes to try and give me a little bit more fillness. For eyeshadow, I'm honestly so boring. I'm just taking this bronzer and popping it through the crease. This is what I always do. Sometimes a winged liner if we're feeling extra wild. Very messily. And winging it out. And then obviously I'll use a brush to... Wow, look at this. Kate just made me this. It is gin, egg white, marmalade and apple juice. This is just a work of art. Look at these glasses. These are from Sostre and Green, by the way, because I think you will ask because they're so cute. So for mascara, I used Maybelline The Skyline. This is amazing. Then for lips, if it's not broke, don't fix it. We're going in with Rimmel Tiramisu. This is note 03. And then we love a gloss. Okay, so that's the makeup. I'm gonna go do my hair and get ready. All products will be listed and linked below. And also remember if you're buying like the tan or any of the Be Perfect products, you can get 20% off with Melissa20. This isn't an ad, but I am an ambassador for them. So yeah. I'm actually gonna finish my makeup off with this iconic bronze spray. It's absolutely beautiful. Woo! Now we should be glowing to the heavens all night. It will dry in. <laughs> so yeah, my top is Zara, jeans are Zara. I've added sunglasses because it's so bright and I've added a blazer in case it get cold later. You can't see anything, I don't know. 